today the population issue is an issue that you can raise and you can talk with African leaders. And they kind of realize that indeed fertility is very high. It's uh, coming down slowly but not rapidly enough and that something has got to be done about fertility and the acceleration of fertility de decline. So the discussion, and you will see that later in the presentation, is very much uh, on how to trigger and especially accelerate this fertility transition in Africa. Unless you can really start to stabilize the bottom of the population pyramid, there is no way you can really build your human capital investment to provide health and education to everybody. Um, the key Burkina Bay development strategies do not address those population issues directly and proactively. The old national population policy was too broad. The new one, which has been redone in 2000, is also broad, encyclopedic, too timid to really address the huge challenge ahead. Specific steps are needed to really address these variables in the national development strategies and expand the family planning and reproductive health uh, programs. And that's the example of the declaration, the, the declaration of the government on population policy of Niger in 2007. They have decided to have a short document, a few things, female education, family planning, raising the age at marriage, breastfeeding, but try to do them uh, properly and nationally. What will happen in the future? I think demographic change will happen in Africa and has already started to happen. Fertility levels are the main engine of the demographic transition. And now, there is no excuse. We have got to, to work on fertility. The key determinants of fertility in are socioeconomic, and here is the discussion I had with the president of, of Niger. They are the intermediate determinants, as well as biological and behavioral, it's called the proximate determinants. We need to work on both, actually. We cannot just say, let's have education of girls. It will take time but then eventually fertility will come down. I think we, we need to find synergies between these policies. The policy interventions on the proximate determinants, that's uh, mostly age at marriage, breastfeeding, and access to uh, modern and safe contraception uh, services, these are also absolutely crucial, especially as you have such high levels of unmet, unmet needs in those countries. In many ways, I believe this issue of population change in Africa, it's a gender issue. And unless we can have policies that would unleash the potential of women, especially in the rural areas, it's, uh, it's going to be tough.